Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm freaking out a little bit here. We might literally be cooking up an eviction crisis with these new executive orders. I really wanna know who wrote them because what Trump says is not what the orders say. Trump says that we will not have evictions, evictions are banned. However, the actual order says evictions will be quote, temporarily halted if there's a risk of COVID spreading. Like, come on, that's literally a loophole so large you can drive a Tesla semi truck through it. Any landlord who wants to evict their tenants now can literally file an eviction and then argue in court that the tenant has another place to move to safely or that this region or whatever has lower COVID cases than others. Therefore, you know, the risk is low and boom, tenants are evicted. Like this is completely the opposite of what we need right now. And maybe the eviction order wouldn't be so bad if we actually had a solid unemployment system, but now it looks as though many states won't contribute the $100 boost. So instead of people on unemployment getting $400 per week, they'll get $300 per week, which is literally half as much as they previously received from the Fed boost. Thanks to the last boost, 95% of renters were able to make their payments, which is similar to what tenants pay in normal times. Now, who knows? Like we haven't even seen the $300 yet. The next two months before the election might be very nasty for for eviction filings and I'm very, very worried that a wave of evictions are going to destroy tenants' credit profiles and their ability to rent quality homes. They'll probably have to move to lower income areas and those lower income areas already might be suffering because of lack of funding due to COVID and more people just add to the strain in those areas. On the payroll tax cut, um, well, nothing. No one is taking that seriously at all. Like what is Congress doing? They're doing absolutely nothing. Instead, some people in Congress like Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell Connell say like, hey, let's get back together and negotiate. And what's really happening? Absolutely nothing. They're all just campaigning to get reelected, nothing else. The $1,200 stimulus checks are confirmed, but Congress took off instead of getting them sent to the people. This means we might not see the next stimulus checks until late September, if we see them at all. Because if we get a vaccine by then, then guess what? Congress might just give us free vaccines instead of a check. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel so great about taking some rushed vaccine. This also leaves PPP money up in the air. This also leaves school funding up in the air. This leaves state and local government funding up in the air. Like this is just a disaster. Honestly, I've been pretty sad and depressed about this. I just want this pandemic to be over and the people not to be hurt by a pandemic that was completely out of their control and Congress is doing jack squat. We're literally going to have to wait another month to see Congress get to work at this pace. So um, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.